Marion, Indiana. Like most towns in the Midwest, it's snowing hard times right now. Some of the stores downtown are vacant. But Marion is proud of its kids, of their state basketball championships, and of Natalie and Wayne Seabold, pairs figure skaters. The Seabolds are not a rich family, and Natalie and Wayne are not world champions. But Marion's proud of them as people. People in Marion are very proud of Tim and Wayne Siebel. They illustrate the best of our young people. Since they started competing on roller skates, their career has been a financial struggle for their parents. Well, we were going to buy a house, and so we decided, no, we'd rather that Wayne and Kim skated. So we decided we'd keep the trailer and live in the trailer and then let them skate. What really is a sacrifice? Maybe we don't have some of the finer Thank things in life, and maybe we don't have a, a house, but we have a home. Yeah. It's something that we choose to do, and if it's something that you choose to do, it's not a sacrifice. And now the dream has come true. The dream of simply competing in the Olympics, thanks to their parents' love and that of their town, which has raised some $37,000 in the past year to enable Natalie and Wayne to train and to send their parents and their brother with them to Calgary. You took all of our minds off the bills and that part out of it, and you let us concentrate on our training. And I don't know how Canada is going to um, compare to this, because every one of you are our friends, and we appreciate it. Mr. and Mrs. Siebold watched Natalie and Wayne skate their Olympic short program Sunday. I think they are so excited to be here. Their marks weren't as high as they'd hoped, but they were Olympic marks. And their Olympic marks belong almost as much to the town of Marion, Indiana, as to them. And there is the live picture right now at the Plymouth Club in Marion, Indiana. I gather that you all hear me there. Are you with the kids? <laughs> they sure are. Marion, Indiana, an entire town dedicated to two kids having their chance to be in the Olympics. There you go. Everybody loves them back in Marion. And a good portion of the crowd here tonight will certainly be with them. As a matter of fact, right now, Tim McCarver is in the arena with their parents. All right, Tim. Well, cer well certainly, Jim, Marion, Indiana loves Wayne and Natalie or Kim, but no more so than John and Gene Seabold. And we have them here. John, uh, it's great tonic coming out like of the hospital, as the you have done, and you're going to see your son and daughter skate tonight. Will not uh, be this is uh, 15 years and the end of a long, long road and a long, long Due dream. Any regrets? No, none whatsoever. We're here uh, for Wayne and Kim. We're here for the city and town of Marion and the county of Grant County in Indiana. And uh, we're having the time of our life, and the kids are skating really good. And, and that's really uh, what you told us before the interview, that all you care about is not whether they win or lose, but whether they skate well. Right. Yeah, we really love them, and we're proud of them. And in our hearts they're gold medal winners because they're here so it doesn't make any difference whether they win a medal here or not they've already won in our hearts and um, what else can you say well how, how do you and they remain so calm under the pressure because i know they're going to go out there and do their best and whatever the good lord wants them placed is where they'll be placed so i never get upset or worried because i know they're doing their best and that's all you can ask of anybody some very happy moments very happy moments here in the arena and now let's go back to